Hi everybody, I'm Jamie and this is my channel Home and Hearth. Welcome. Today we are going to be making some wonderful pantry stable salsa and it'll be great for the pantry, be great for your family, and even better for a party. Okay, so what's going to go into our salsa? Well, we've got a few things here. Um, we are going to be using some of the tomatoes that I grew myself and some that I bought because some of my tomatoes didn't do so well, but that's okay. We've got an entire bag of these lovely guys, jalapenos. We're gonna be adding chopped onions, chopped bell peppers. We're going to be adding fresh garlic that I did actually grow, yay. Um, I'm proud of it, what can I say? Anyways, we're gonna get going. Now our first step for this, well, we need to peel and de-seed these guys so that we can get all the excess moisture out and all the seeds and things because, I mean, it's a textural thing, but seeds aren't always the best to eat, especially in salsa, I think. Yeah, but, so we're gonna do that and I'll be right back. Okay, what we're gonna do now, we've got our nice pot of boiling water and we're gonna take each of these tomatoes and we're going to score them in a cross sign on the bottom. And then when we put them in, the heat will help release those skins. Go ahead and just make your cross right here on the bottom. And for safety purposes, I like using a spider. So I'll put two or three in I need to sharpen my knife, put those in the water, leave them for a few seconds, uh, 30 minutes, or 30 minutes, 30 seconds to a minute, and just let them bounce around. We'll take that first little guy out, I think, yeah, let's take him out. I'm just gonna put him in an ice cold water bath. Let him cool down to stop the cooking process because we don't wanna cook these just yet. These guys looking about done. So I'm gonna pull these out, put them in the water bath, and I'm gonna move on with the others. Quick note here, I just wanna let you guys know, because I think a lot of you have seen how to blanch things and they say only do it for a few minutes, especially when you're trying to peel the skins off of tomatoes. Um, they'll say 30 seconds to a minute, just like I did. Um, that's not always necessarily accurate. Um, it de really depends on your tomato. How ripe is it? How underripe is it? Because that will tell you whether or not you need to go a little bit longer. Now, I don't know if you can see here, but see how this is separated really nicely? Okay, that will probably be able to peel quite a bit better, okay? Um, just look at them. If you have any that you know don't look like they want to peel right away, toss them back in. Put them on for another 30 seconds to a minute, and you'll know, you'll get a feel for when those skins are ready to come off. Okay, so now that we've gotten all of the tomatoes blanched, and we can tell that those peels are ready to come off, we're just gonna simply slide them off. We're gonna use the same knife that we scored with, and we're just gonna peel that skin right off. And as you, you can see, it doesn't really give up much of a fuss. And after we do that, I'm just going to slice it down the middle. We've got all of our seeds inside, so we want to get that out. So we're just going to take a spoon and just core them out. Get all that out of there. And what you're left with is the actual usable tomato for the salsa. Scrape out any seeds that are remaining. Oops, gotta cut through that guy. But here we go, we got a nice tomato ready to go. So I'm going to go ahead and go through the rest of these tomatoes and we'll be right back. Okay, after a nice kitchen reset and getting the tomatoes, uh, getting their skins off and getting them de-seeded, we are back. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do have some fresh jalapenos because I had my recipes kind of backwards and actually I only need four uh, diced jalapenos for the salsa recipe. The cowboy candy 
jalapenos are sliced, and those were the ones that were actually I was showing you before. So we're going to move on here. Here I have my gloves on, and I also have my glasses on. Okay, we got our peppers done up, and let's see if we can dig out some uh, decent-sized cloves of garlic here. My garlic was very small this year. says I need eight of these. There's three right there. That's not too shabby, is it? Normally, I would not beat up my head of garlic as badly as I'm doing right now, but I'm going to pretty much use this whole thing in one way or another. Two, that's four, we got five. We need three more. So, let's get some of the mess out of the way here. Take the itty bitty guys out. Use those for another dish for tomorrow, maybe. Okay. Save that guy. Ooh, ooh, this is a nice one. Let's try that guy. Okay. So... This one looks a little, yep. See, that one went bad on me. That's okay. Save our good ones over here out of the way. We only need a couple more, so let's pop these guys. Oh, that popped open nice. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we got some good ones here. So we got three, four, five, six, seven, and let's count that as one. So there's our eight. Set that guy aside. Set these guys aside. Okay. Clean up my mess. Okay, so we need to pop these open. It says I need to mince these. So we're going to give things a little pop. Okay, we need to pop it again. Eat it like it owes you money, huh? Alrighty, so, okay, that looks good. Get the paper out of my peppers. And I'm going to continue on busting these babies loose. We're going to mince them up. And then it'll be time to do a quick chop on those tomatoes. And we're going to start salsifying. Okay, we have got our tomatoes in. It's actually nine cups. And so we've got that in, and according to the recipe now, we need two and a half cups of our bell peppers. I will do that. So two and a half cups. That went took off, didn't it? got our two and a half of the white onion which I would like to share with you just how fragrant it has been in my refrigerator <laughs> okay so two and a half of the chopped white onion We can add our chopped jalapenos and our chopped garlic. So, okay, let's add that in. Okay. 
now it says we need uh, six teaspoons of canning salts. Okay, I like to use the Mrs. Wages brand. It is really just an awesome little brand. I, you know, you can do your own um, pickling spices, that kind of thing. I've done them before. Um, but I sometimes I just like it to be a little easier too. But yeah, Mrs. Wages is a great brand. Okay, glasses on. Six teaspoons canning salt. Okay. Pretty sure I've got the right spoonage. One teaspoon. I'm hyper fixated on the recipe. It is canning and you do need to be exact. right now. Let's just make this easy. Let's get them all. Make sure we're still on the one teaspoon. Okay. Set that aside. Get a little scrunch up here. We've got clumpy on me. Okay. Six teaspoons. I have a teaspoon in my hand. One, two, three. Five. And we'll call that six. And now we need a cup of white vinegar, which I have right here. And then our two um, 12 ounces of tomato paste. These are both six, so that'll work just fine. Okay, one cup of our vinegar. Okay. Yeah, now let's uh, get our glasses off and let's get this tomato paste down. Woo! I can smell the vinegar. Such a happy little smell. All I keep telling myself is my pores are just going to be so happy after this. That vinegar is spot on. Okay. All right. That should be good enough. Forgive my refrigerator. It's thinking really hard, I think. Okay. spoon out and we're going to get this combined and once we get this combined we are going to let this come to us a boil reduce we're going to simmer it for 20 to 30 minutes I'll probably go 30 it's going to make some beautiful salsa guys it really is I can't wait to see what it looks like after it's been canned say, at least for the moment, we are pretty combined. Okay. Tell me what you think. Um, we'll be back shortly once it comes to a boil. All right, everybody. It has been a half an hour, and I got to say, that salsa is looking beautiful. It smells really good, too. Yeah, I think we're ready to uh, put in some jars. Okay, we are ready to put the salsa in the jars. I've got a dozen uh, pints here. I was originally going to do a double batch until I realized that I was actually going to come up way short on the tomatoes. So I uh, ended up doing just a single batch, which will make uh, approximately seven to eight pints. And the recipe is, um, yeah, the recipe is the best homemade salsa for canning. It's on the internet. The author is Alex Caspero, C-A-S-P-E-R-O. 
and it has had really great reviews and I'm very excited about this. I think it's going to turn out really, really good. And so let's go ahead and get to canning this. We're supposed to leave a half inch headspace. I will probably do an inch just because I don't know. It just seems like frequently that half inch just seems like it's not much. Come over here. I've already made a mess. So let's see if we can do this without burning your fingers. Maybe. All right, cool. I don't know if I'm going to get seven or eight out of this. I don't know. My tomatoes were... Okay, that jar got hot. My tomatoes just, I don't know, they seemed like thicker or something. I don't know. I, don't know. I, have, I have very special tomatoes. They don't, they don't want to spread out, I guess. Okay. Oop. Alrighty, so. Yeah, I'm not, well, I've got four. Whoops, that one's a little full. Let's grab a spoon. Let's take some of that out, shall we? That one's, that one's a rim rocker. It's all the way at the top there. You just hot. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and keep filling these. I've got the canner over here, and we're going to get that going here momentarily. Alrighty. We are coming to a boil, and we are going to set our time for 30 minutes. Not 20. 30 minutes. <laughs> so... We will be back when these babies are done. All right, we did it, everyone. We've got seven beautiful pints of salsa. Pretty excited about it. I want to thank you all for joining me. Um, this has been fun. Everybody, I love you. Take care of yourself, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.